This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics God, preventing you from becoming a biscuit-headed grower. Today we have a very, very simple video submitted by a gentleman by the name of Mark, who's going to go ahead and display his very basic setup, and he wants to know if there's any biscuit-headedness that is inside of this system. So stay tuned. Brooklyn, Mark Allen from Northern California, your biscuit head aquaponics guy here. Woo, Mr. Mark Allen. What's going on, man? No, I wouldn't go that far calling you the biscuit headed Mark. Let's continue. And uh, hopefully we we'll show you our system and uh, you can tell us if we are being biscuit heads or not. That the aquaponics guy will do. So uh, here we go. Uh, what we've got going here is a 100 gallon uh, tank here where we have about 12 to 15 fish in there, mostly uh, goldfish. We have a 550 gallon an hour pump that pumps up the water um, over here to a settling tank. And in the settling tank, of course, we try to get it to go around and it doesn't seem to be going fast enough, but it does spin the water around the side so I think it is settling. So Mr. Mark, this is one thing that I'm gonna suggest is you remove this solids filter here. It's pointless and it's doing a disservice to your setup. You have a media bed setup which requires those solids be processed in the media. So if you're having a solids filter here and you're removing it then you're defeating the purpose of a media bed. All that labor that goes into the media bed, you know, it's all in vain if you're not letting the solids mineralize inside of that, um, inside of it. So remove that solids filter, repent from the, thy biscuit headed ways, thus say it, the aquaponics God, and keep moving on. Brand new addition to the, to the thing, to the system. Then we have coming out of there, going into grow bed number one, which is a brand new bed. Uh, I, uh, we spilled some water the other night, so the tank is really low and I don't have enough in there to be running both tanks yet so we're dechlorinating water so that we can put some more in the system that's draining over here into our existing bed in the existing bed we have some cilantro lettuce uh, some strawberries very light leaves I don't know what we got going on there now you can see your system has a lot of deficiencies and you can look at the plants they're not very very healthy and one of the reasons you, you could be removing you, I mean, you only have a few fish in the system as it is. So you need all that solid waste to c accumulate in there. The plants need that solid waste for, um, for nutrients. So you're removing it out with that solids filter. And, and these are the results here. So once again, uh, be mindful of that solids filter and your fish are small right now. So don't expect exponential growth and you know, all the, you know, the, the, the best growth out there with only this small amount of fish. You're gonna be doing the hydroponic with the fish cover up. That's the only way you're pretty much gonna be growing, um, if you, especially if you're removing the solids out and you have those small uh, uh, fish in size. So be mindful of that. Uh, just various things. These plants were from our first basic aquaponic system, but since then we've upgraded now. And uh, we've got the bell siphons in here. And of course when those fill up, they drop down underneath the table and let's see you can see that one's draining right now and uh, this one is over there that's that oh, can't see it He's, of course not doing anything in any case oops going sideways i'm being a biscuit head on the uh video and then there's room for one more um grow bed that we're going to add and we have a grow light and we have a heat lamp plastic that comes down at night to keep it nice and warm in here when it gets cool but we're having very good weather right now uh, that's it look forward to your thoughts thank you very much for all you do and uh, your video is very educational appreciate it so mr. Mark Allen I have to say this is a very very basic setup this is what I recommend this is a hobby setup very basic nothing crazy nothing fancy the you know it's doing the minimum doing the minimum and get and expecting to get the maximum out of it. So this is something that I have zero problem with for like a backyard home hobbyist. This is perfectly fine with the exception of that solid filter that you have in there with this media bed. So some people can need to look at this and just, you know, there's no, no reason to make things complicated. 
No reason to do all type of, you know, twists and turns and all that. Something simple like this for a backyard system, and now you're in the game. Now you're in the game. So I appreciate the simplicity of this system. So I want to commend you on that, that you didn't fall into the trap. This is a biscuit-headed trap most people fall into. They want to make their system go to Pluto, come down to Mars, swing over here, do a left turn, come back down to Earth, go down to the Atlantic Ocean. They want to do all this stuff when all you have to do is something as simple as Mr. Mark Allen right here. So, Mr. Mark Allen, I applaud you on that, but repent from thy biscuit-headed ways and remove that solids filter from uh, this system. Now, if I come back and see you with that solids filter in there, then you have to be labeled Mr. Biscuit-Headed Mark Allen, unless you, Mr. Mark Allen, have a very, very fine reason for keeping that, um, that uh, um, solids filter in there. Unless you're going to increase the stocking density and the feeding rate for this system, but remove the solids out, other than that, if you're not doing that and you're going to keep a low stocking density, which I'm assuming you are, then you need to remove that solids filter and let those solids accumulate within the media. With that being said, thank you very much, Mr. Mark Allen. I appreciate you sending your video over to the Aquaponics Guide. Anyone else out there that has a video, Brooklyn at the school of aquaponics.com, video submission, and I'll be more than happy to help you with your setup. Woo!